welcome back. So today I'm going to give you guys a tour of Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We've been staying here for the past week. It's, it's such a cute and quaint place and it really embodies everything that they wanted it to be modeled after, which is um, Old Faithful, the Old Faithful Inn over at Yellowstone National Park. So, I mean, they've got everything like identical down to the, uh, the pillars, the wood pillars down in the lobby. So we're gonna go through that shortly and take you over to the lobby, take you through the pool area. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Come on, let's go.
we are walking up towards the lobby, away from the elevators for the guest rooms. Coming up on the right here is Territory Lounge. So you can get some light bites here in the afternoon hours and you can also get some drinks. Up all the way at the end is Artist Point. And this is where they do the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs character dining. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs artwork posted all throughout. Won't be able to take you inside, but the theming is really nice. At night it just gets dark and there's a lot of little white lights everywhere. It's very pretty. Just going right into the main lobby of the Wilderness Lodge. You can see, if for those of you who've been to Old Faithful Inn in Yellowstone, you can see the sheer beautiful, majestic pillars, beams. It's really quite amazing. Fireplace right down in the middle. And all the rooms. So club level, if you did decide to get club level room, that's gonna be up on the seventh floor. All the way at the very top. And the registration check-in is over to the left as well as the bell service. And over to the right, we have the Whispering Canyon Cafe. They serve breakfast, brunch, and dinner. Right over here, that's our room. We had a water view, and our view was of the pool, and even further out was the lake. So if you're getting a water view room, those are the uh, water views that you're gonna be seeing. If you head straight out, you'll get down to the dock where you can take a boat right over to the Magic Kingdom. You can also take boats over to Disney's Wilderness, uh, Fort Wilderness Campground, and you can also take it over to the Contemporary. So there's just two different, one's red and one's blue, so just look for the flags on the boats.
to the right is the pool area. It's a larger pool back further. The pool doesn't open until unfortunately 10, but uh, this is the children's play area here. And then over up to the left, they have some hot tubs over here, two hot tubs. And this is Geyser Point. So you will see the geyser go off throughout the day. Again, modeling Yellowstone National Park with the geyser over there. So again, this hotel is modeled after <clears throat> Old Faithful Inn, which is at Yellowstone National Park. Two hot tubs. And this is the creek, the Copper Creek that's flowing. It starts out in the lobby and it flows all the way out here. And right down here is Geyser Point. It's a bar and grill. It uh, doesn't have an extensive menu, but just enough for you to get some light bites and uh, have a couple of drinks. The view is amazing. Take you guys in. There's your view, right on the lake. chairs out here you can just sit and chill out and you can see in a not so far distance you can see up right there you've got the contemporary it's the Bay Lake Tower I believe so and then you'll see the dock right there and there's a bunch of people I can see from here waiting waiting on that dock right over there for probably the Magic Kingdom ferry to take them over. So location wise, this is, it's pretty close. It's, it's a great location, especially if you're going to be doing Magic Kingdom, even if you're going to be doing Epcot because you got the monorail right there as well. So easy access. All right. So that concludes our resort tour of Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And if you guys do have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. But uh, if you did stay here, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you like it. I'm always interested to, to get other people's perspectives as well. For us, I think it is really quaint. Um, we like to get around and try all the different Disney properties. So I don't know if we'll be back anytime soon to this one. But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this to other people thinking about planning a Disney vacation. Have a wonderful day, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode.